Hey guys, today we're going to be making fried cabbage. Okay, here's what we're going to need. We're going to need Polska, kielbasa. Okay, now you can use, um, they have this in Turkey. You can use turkey, you can use beef, you can use skinless, you can use skin on, any kind of sausage that you want to use, okay? You can use an Italian sausage, you can use a sweet sausage, but this is what, what works best for me and what gives me the most flavor, okay? So we're going to need bacon. I have five pieces of bacon, okay? We're going to need garlic. We're going to need garlic powder, parsley, pepper, and salt. We're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. We're going to need a yellow pepper, yellow bell pepper, chopped up. We're going to need a Vidalia onion, medium size, chopped up. You're going to need a green bell pepper chopped up and a red bell pepper chopped up. And here's what the, um, what the cabbage size looks like, okay? It's not too big, not too little, okay? Just try to make them all the same size, just like that, okay? And now, what I've done is let's take a look over here, guys. What I've done is I've rendered that bacon down, and here's what the bacon left me. Okay, it left me with just a little oil in the bottom of that pan, okay? So we're going to use that oil to fry our cabbage in, okay? So what we'll do, give me a second, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you how to assemble this. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's get this cabbage assembled. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need to do, guys, let's go ahead and take that clove. This was a clove and a half, a large clove and a half of garlic that I've chopped up. Let's get that in the baking grease, okay? And remember, and I always tell you guys this in every video when I use uh, garlic, don't cook your garlic too long, okay? Because when we cook garlic too long, if it gets too brown, it will get bitter, okay? So we're just gonna cook that for a minute. Next thing we're gonna do, go ahead and throw the onions in. Okay, just the onions for a second. Let's get them sauteed with the garlic and the bacon grease. Guys, I had a taste for cabbage. Now, growing up when I would have cabbage, we would have our cabbage like kind of steamed and it was cooked in a nice amount of water and I love that kind. But now that I've been introduced to fried cabbage, this is my go-to. I love fried cabbage. It, it doesn't get any better than fried cabbage, guys. Especially when you use that bacon grease. That bacon grease does it, guys. It really does it. And right now, this garlic and onion smells so good right now. Ooh, it smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. And when you guys, for your bell peppers and onions, they only have to be uh, medium size, okay? There we go. See what that onion's doing? That's exactly what we want. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and put our bell peppers in. Now, if you don't want to use bell peppers, that's fine. You don't have to, okay? Or if you only like a certain color, if you only like green, just use green. I'm using the different colors for... Uh, decoration purposes, okay? But my favorite bell pepper is the green bell pepper. So these are all medium size, chopped up. Let's get that in there. I'm not too much of a fan of red bell pepper. We'll start off with that much, okay? And if I feel like I need a little more, I'll throw a little bit more in, okay? Let's get this cooking a little bit. This will be our dinner tonight, guys. We're going to have fried cabbage over white rice and call it a night. Okay, see that? That's exactly what we're wanting, guys. Let's let that sweat down for a minute. And then I want to come over here, guys. Let's get a good picture on this. I want to come over here while the sausages, garlic and onion is cooking, and I want to chop these kielbasa sausages up, okay? And very simple, okay? I want to take them, whoops, 
I want to give them a nice, nice slice, just like this, okay? You can't go wrong with it. Just give them a good slice. Don't cut them too thick or too thin, okay? And two of them's enough. I have um, two heads of cabbage. Usually for two heads, I use just two sausages. Now, if you want to make more, go ahead and cut it this way to give yourself more, okay? Once you slice it, then chop it that way, okay? Let's go ahead and do this. Because the next thing we're going to do, we're going to throw this meat in with the peppers after these peppers cook. I turned the peppers up a little bit. And we're going to get some oil out of these sausages, guys. And that oil, it's going to go directly in that pot. And it's going to flavor that pot even more. Okay, look at this. Cannot beat this, guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead, get these sausages right on in here. Let me wipe my counter down, guys. I love a clean work area, guys. I cannot work in a dirty work area. I have to have everything around me clean. So as I'm cooking, I'm constantly straightening things up, wiping down, throwing things in the trash, and I keep a, uh, I keep a bowl. Keep a bowl right behind me. And that bowl, I put like, um, the onion skins in it. I put trash, anything that needs to be thrown away, I throw it right in that bowl. And then after the video, I throw it directly in the trash. Here's what we got going, guys. Look at this. That looks good already, right? That looks good already. Who doesn't like peppers and onions? Peppers, onions, and sausage. Okay, let's cook this down a little bit, get some juices out of that sausage, and then we'll um, go ahead and start putting our cabbage in this mix. And now, with cabbage, cabbage is kind of tricky for, for you guys that haven't made cabbage before. Um, this is how it works. So say you fill your pan up with this much cabbage, way up here. You can barely put the lid on it. You come back in... 15 minutes that cabbage will be down here because what it does is it sweats and once it sweats it'll start shrinking a little bit okay well it'll shrink a lot okay and so never worry about having too much cabbage because it'll shrink down collard greens and, and greens do the same thing it'll definitely shrink down so never worry about having too much oh, I just got some onions let me count it Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're doing good. I'm going to go ahead. I see the juices coming out of the sausages. See that? All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to put cabbage in here. I'm just going to start off by putting little bits in at a time. Okay, let me move my spoon. And I have this, um, I have this burner up on a medium high, okay? We don't want to have it too high, okay? Because that will make your cabbage too smushy. We don't want a smushy cabbage, okay? We want it to kind of have some texture. Okay? You know, we want it to be soft, but we want it to still have some texture, okay? And the way to do that is having a medium-high heat. And once it gets to go on real good, we'll turn it down to medium, okay? Put as much as you can put in now. Here in about 10 minutes, we'll come back and we'll stir it. And then... If you have more cabbage than what I do, 
um, what you're going to do is set that extra cabbage aside, okay? And once your cabbage goes down, you can put more in there, okay? Just make sure when you stir this cabbage, you stir it in from the bottom up, okay? So the, the cabbage at the top can go to the bottom, the cabbage at the bottom can go to the top, okay? <clears throat> that way everything cooks evenly, okay? Alright, what we're going to do, let's give this a season now. What we're going to do, I'm going to put the sugar in here, okay? This is two tablespoons of sugar. And please do not worry because this sugar will not, it will not make this cabbage sugary, okay? It just takes the edge off just a little, okay? And if you don't want to use um, uh, uh, two tablespoons, just use a tablespoon, okay? Let's get some garlic in here, granulated garlic. Let's get some parsley in. Let me open this up to do it. Parsley. Let's get some salt. We'll put pepper in later, okay? There we go, guys. Okay. And this bacon that I've cooked, we're not going to put that in towards, until towards the end. So I'm not even going to stir this right now. I'm just going to put the lid on it, guys, and let it go. We'll come back when we stir it. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I wanted to show you something. Remember how I was talking about um, however much cabbage you put in, if you put it up like this, it'll come down? It's literally, it's only been about six, seven minutes. I'm going in, and look, look how much... You know, it's went down about this much, guys. Okay? So let's go ahead and steer. Steer from the bottom. Okay? Just like that, guys. Let's get those bell peppers and onions up to the top, okay? And start pushing cabbage that's at the top to the bottom, okay? Let me move my lid. Steer from the bottom. Okay? Because we don't want that cabbage that's at the bottom to cook too long okay we want it all to have a fair chance to cook at the bottom okay so it all can cook evenly there we go guys look at this and this is the perfect amount let's see so I'm gonna be feeding I'm gonna be feeding four tonight okay three adults and a little one and this here, those, that cabbage, let's see, I had one head and a half of cabbage. That'll, this will feed us for about two days. I might have to make a little bit more rice, like tomorrow, but hey, that's fine. This will already be made. Now, now sometimes it might not last to the second day. Because this is so good, and they love this. Um, look at that guys this is doing exactly what we want it to do and you know what it's it's it has a really beautiful smell I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more seasonings in there just one more time okay we put those seasonings in the top now let's season this side okay and season it season it exactly how you want it okay I gotta get me another garlic guys I have fresh garlic, but I love garlic powder. There we go. This time I'm going to put pepper in, okay? There we go. Look at that. And there's another ingredient I forgot to um, tell you guys about. Towards the end of the cooking, guys, I'm going to use about, mm, about five tablespoons. I'm sorry. Yeah, about five tablespoons of butter. Okay, and that's towards the end of the cooking when I get ready to put my cooked bacon in, okay? We already have that bacon grease in here, guys, this flavoring everything. And then we turned around and put our sausage in there, guys, and that juice from the sausage is flavoring everything. And then we turn around towards the end of the cooking, guys, and we're going to break up that cooked bacon and throw that in there. That flavor, guys, it is just like, it goes pow! You know, it, it's, it's really good. Really good. A really powerful flavor. 
And let's see if you can get a look in, at the juice in here, guys. Remember, we didn't put, hold on, let's see. Remember, we didn't put any water or anything in there. See that water, though? Or that juice? That's good. That's love right there, guys. You can just take a spoon and sip that juice. It is so flavorful and so good. And all that juice comes directly from the cabbage and these vegetables. Like I said, when I was younger, um, we used to cook it in water. But frying it is the better way, guys. Frying it is the best way. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We've got this mixed up, okay? It's looking good, guys. It's smelling good. And you know what? Remember that leftover red bell pepper that I set aside? I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in. It's only a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on in, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get this lid on. We'll let it simmer, and I'll come back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. And now, um, while I had the video on pause, I did come back and taste this, and I thought it needed a little bit more seasoning. So I put a little bit more garlic powder, a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, okay? And, and keep tasting it. Taste your food so you know how much of everything you need, okay? See this? I'm just going to break this bacon up. I need to turn this down a little, okay? I'm going to break that bacon up just like this. Remember, we previously cooked it before we got started. This cabbage has two meats in it, guys. Like, how much more flavor do you need? This is going to be so good. Everyone's gonna come back for seconds, guys. This is a meal like for tonight. It's literally three degrees outside, guys. It's three degrees outside, okay? And when your family comes in from outside from being in the cold, make them something like this, a stick to your bones meal. And they'll show you. They'll let you know that they appreciate it. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Okay, and what I also want you to see, let's see, let's get a good picture in, guys. Now, a lot of that water or the juice evaporated. See that? But we still have some juice, okay? So it's still going to be a little juicy. But this is still fried cabbage, guys. Okay, we started off frying it. That juice that's in there is normal. It will always happen because cabbage is like 80% water. Okay, so it has a lot of water in it. And if you don't want a lot of juice in your cabbage, pour some out. That's just fine. There's no problem with that. Okay. This is almost done, guys. Take a good look at this. Hold on, let's see, I wanna get a good picture. Look at this, guys. Is that beautiful or what? I mean, I know I say that a lot, but really, this is beautiful. Isn't it pretty? All those different colors, guys. The smell in here, oh my goodness. I wish, I wish you guys were here right now so you could smell this. And you know how um, sometimes people will cook cabbage and the cabbage normally has like a funky smell, you know, but when you fry it, it takes some of that smell away, guys. It's different from when you steam it. It, it does something different, guys. So you don't have to deal with that smell. What we're going to do, we're going to cook this. Let me get my pot over here. There we go. We're going to cook this a little bit longer. It's almost done, guys. Uh, give me a second and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. This meal literally did not even take 40 minutes, okay? And that that's, that's awesome. 
that is awesome timing guys when you're you have things to do in the evening get your vegetables get your um get your vegetables chopped up a day ahead get your sausage chopped up a day ahead you can even brown your bacon a day ahead and chop up that cabbage throw it all in guys 30 minutes go take your shower get ready for work the next day throw this in a pot and 40 minutes this meal is done this meal is so simple what i want to do right now and you don't have to stand over the stove and keep coming back and stirring it. You stir it one or two times. Hey, and that's it. Okay, what I want to do right now is put some butter in. And it's up to you guys about how much butter you want. I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half, okay? About a tablespoon and a half, okay? Let's get that in there. Mix it around. And I'm going to turn the stove off because... This right here, guys, this is complete. I'm going to tell that husband of mine and my boys to come upstairs because it's dinner time. This right here will go over very well with your family. Very well. Even the kids, even the little ones will like this, guys. I I'm telling you, give it a try. Make this meal, share it with your families, and enjoy it. Okay, we're going to get bowls out. I'll plate this. Well, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I just want to show you one more time what this beautiful fried cabbage looks like. I mean, nobody makes it better, guys. I Nobody makes it better, guys. I promise you guys, stick with me, stick with me, and I promise I'm going to show you guys how to cook. And if you already know how to cook, I'm going to give you better and better recipes every other day. Uh, well, I don't know about every other day, but I'm going to try <laughs> to do a video one to two times a week, guys. Let's get this plated up. Okay, let me get some rice. Hold, hold on, I really got to move this camera, guys. Okay, so let's just put it over here at the bowl. Okay, look at look how fluffy the rice is, guys. Look at that fluffiness. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Let's get that in there. I love cabbage over rice. That's the best way to do it, guys. You've got to have that rice under your cabbage <clears throat> that's always how my dad did it he would always put rice under his beans or sometimes he would do rice under the greens and always put rice under the cabbage okay all right i'm ready to go ahead Look at that, guys. Isn't it beautiful? This right here is what you call fried cabbage 101, guys. Ooh, that sausage is burning my finger. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. it's hot. Burn my fingers. Look at this, guys. Take a look at this beautiful. Let me put it on the plate, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Fried cabbage 101, guys. The best way you can make it. I promise you're going to love this recipe. Let's give this a try. Oh, and look at that bacon there, guys. Ooh-wee. Okay, I'm going to dig in. Ah. I don't want to burn my mouth. I want to get a piece of everything. Okay, give me a second, guys, because I really got to blow this one. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, guys, seriously, 
the flavor, the flavor of that bacon, woo, and the flavor that the sausages give off is absolutely ridiculous. If you guys don't try this recipe, you're crazy. Number one. And number two, you guys are going to miss out on a very delicious meal if you don't try this. Let me see. One more taste, guys. Look at that. Look how pretty it is on the fork. One more bite, guys. Hold on. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you guys, mm, mm, mm. Mm. the flavor, the flavor of those bell peppers, and each of the bell peppers tastes a little different. Oh man, so good. It's so, so, so good. I'm going to taste it again. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. Mm. Okay. Guys, thank you for watching. And as always, God bless. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the meal.